Now my goal was to slip under here and get to the bump stops, but realistically, I'm a rather large fella. Okay, I'm a fat boy. Ah. Well, now I'm well and truly stuck. <laughs> G'day. Today I'm going to show you the easiest way to replace bump stops on your car. So today I'm going back under, in this case my BA Ford, and these are the following tools you'll need. One hand, at least. Two bump stops. This is one occasion where you don't necessarily have to buy genuine OEM products. These I picked up for, I think, $14 on eBay, including postage. All they have to do is basically stop the banging of the bottom of the car. So they don't have to be OEM. Three, some rubber grease. Although in this case, they actually came with some rubber grease, so we may as well use that. Okay, so to give you better light, I've put the car in the yard. I guess we'll go around and see what we can do. And as opposed to other videos you may have seen, with this method I'm going to show you, you won't have to squish the thing up with the jack, but I'll show you that in a sec. So let's go. This method, by the way, will work for the majority of cars, no matter the make, although there may, of course, be a few exceptions, depending on how they're put together. Of course, this wouldn't be a Steve Mac video without some background noise, in this case, somebody's mowing the grass. Remember, if you like this video, or any of my videos for that matter, you can always subscribe, the option is there. And if you like to use Instagram, I'm of course on there as Steve Mac Actor. Tip number one. If you need to use a car jack, you can always carry that round to the car using a trolley. My next tip is, if you do have a bumping noise in the back of your vehicle, it could be one of the following things, worth checking before you get into replacing the bump stops. Check that you don't have a corpse in the boot. Ah! Check also that maybe your spare tyre simply isn't securely tightened down. Ah. I think we possibly have hit on a problem. There's no... Uh, well, it's missing. The clamp to hold the wheel down. Where's it gone and how long has it been missing? I wonder if it's the last time I... Let's have a look. Oh, of course, cut my arm again. Well, I found the reason there is no securing clamp. There used to be one, I'm sure. Oh. Well, let's take the spare wheel out and first we'll see if that eliminates the noise. Correction. <laughs> I realise with these, I actually use like a seatbelt. Oh, means I'm not missing a centre hold down thing. Most cars will have a centre hold down clamp there, so check that on yours anyway. Or if you do have a BA, at least make sure it's tight or they're not that tight. Silly design. Now my goal was to slip under here and get to the bump stops, but realistically, I'm a rather large fella. Okay, I'm a fat boy. Oh, what can we do here? I also just bought some new tyres from Dara Tyres, which you can check out the video on them. They looked after me yet again. So you can see this one's pretty clagged. Huh. Well, yep. oh, it fell off. <laughs> okay, I'm correct, you don't need any tools. So I'm managing, believe it or not, to crawl under here without jacking the car up on the left side anyway. So just look at that. That's the old one, if you can see it. That's all I'm truly shagged. Okay. Oh, I can't really get up there anymore. I'm stuck. Okay, and I'm now upside down. <laughs> so, get an old rag, give that a wipe anyway. I've just got dust in my eyes. Great. So, you see that? That's where it mounts. 
and this will not there. But first, get some rubber grease and smear some of that over the lug. So we do half each side. Approximately, it is easier to take out of a container. Oh, more dirt filling in my eyes. So just smear that around the edges there. Because I love working on cars a lot, but sometimes it saves you a lot of money, especially something that's relatively simple. Okay, well. Now the theory is, because I'm upside down squished here, put that on at a 45 degree angle, give it a twist, and see if it goes on. And I'm going to use two hands. Not that easy. Not that easy at all. Fire out. Maybe I'll just glue it on. <laughs> I'm joking. I'll smear a bit more grease on me. Not often I make videos upside down, but on this occasion I am. And I literally am upside down. Okay. Oh. And there we go. All right. Thank goodness. There we go. You see that? That's one done. Yeah, it was pretty easy. <laughs> no, it was actually. I don't have a whole lot of strength in that arm because I've torn a ligament recently, but that one on all right. There you go. Now let's check up the other side and do it. It's basically a repeat of the same operation. Because I don't think we can get to it from here, can we? Oh. It's over there somewhere. I won't be able to get to it like this. I'm just saying, you know, I'm not lying. Here I am, under the car. Hello. <laughs> not my favourite place. Yes, I'm a bit squished. So let's get the jack. Well, now I'm well and truly stuck. <laughs> Oh well, I'm a bit puffed now. Just make sure we chop the wheels. That one did no good. I've got a band aid on. I had bows in my hair and everything. The things I do for you guys. right here. I oh, could have got it easy. <laughs> and again, just crumpled. Well and truly due for replacing that one. Well, <laughs> she, I'll give it a wipe anyway. Whew. That was rotten. Use up the last of the rubber grease. Whew. It's actually very simple once you get to it. Simpler than getting the rubber grease out. Definitely use it out of the container, I would. Like I was going to. Whew. Forgive my puffing. Okay, so same with this. Smear some in the hole. It's 
some around there. Some more rubber grease out. They don't make it easy. Oh. Yeah. And so you're it for the rubber grease. Okay, it should do. And again, approaching it at a 45 degree angle. Like that. Put it up there if you can see, you probably can't. And twist. Oh, a bit of leverage would help. Quite simple here, if you can see that. Sorry if the. Hope you could see that. I am using for this entire video, if this will focus, my new Samsung Galaxy phone that I did the unboxing of a few months ago. Basically, because I didn't want to bring an expensive camera to here. But that's it, that's the second one on. The right side in this case. So let's lower the car down, take it for a test drive. So far, so good. honestly say whether that's because I replaced the bump stops which is what the video was about or what I'm still shocked about is my theory about the spare tire being loose or in my case not secured down at all no the only bumps I'm feeling are normal road bumps but definitely leave that uh, bump, 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 bump feeling is gone so I would say the problem's fixed and what a cheap fix it was, $14. And as I promised you, well, thought I'd be able to promise you and deliver it on, which I try and do in all my videos, uh, yeah, no tools involved. I had the screwdriver on standby, but as you saw, the thing just crumbled, the old bump stops. So they were definitely doing nothing. <laughs> no, this is much smoother. I should turn off the 
fan all together. Make it a bit quieter. No, the only noises I can hear are normal. Nothing unless I go over a, like a manhole cover. Very smooth. Excellent. Brilliant. Well, it was definitely worth doing. Didn't really plan on doing it today, but I decided to. And uh, yeah, here we go. Brilliant. No, this is totally different. Well worth it, guys and girls. So yeah, that's how you replace bump stops in a car. Like I said, most cars will be very similar. Uh, the only purpose they serve is to stop you bottoming out when you hit a big bump. There's no real big bumps here to try it, but uh, here comes a pothole. No manhole cover. Or a person hole cover. Yeah, no, that's good. I like it. This is like uh, pretty good. There's only minor bumps. I mean, next time I have the car on the hoist, for some reason I don't have a hoist, I will uh, get them to check shock amounts and things, but um, I got them to have a quick check the other day when I had the tyres put on and they couldn't see anything untoward, so yeah, maybe a combination of two. Anyway, I won't waffle on. I'm going to spin around and head home and have a shower and a shave. Which I well and truly need now and more than anything, a cup of coffee. Anyway, I'll see you back home. Well, I'm about done for the day. Now, you won't always get the same topic on this channel because I throw up everything. <coughs> but you will get one thing I can guarantee you. And if that's what you like, feel free to hit subscribe. The guarantee I will promise you is you will always get the honest truth from me. You'll see me as I am. There's no pretentiousness. If I find something is good, I'll share the knowledge with you. But basically, what you see, as people that have met me in person will verify, is genuinely what you'll get. If you really, really like the video, or any of my videos, you can always buy me a cup of coffee. There's a PayPal link in the description, which is the little down arrow where you'll find links to relevant videos, and apparently if you say friends and family, you won't get a fee, nor will I. So I'll get more coffee in my cup. The description area below has useful links relevant to the videos, as well as a whole lot of other things. So check them out. Okay, I hope that video was useful to you. Until next time, cheers. So remember, as I said, if you do want to shout me a cup of coffee, the links are down below where you can use the PayPal thing. It all helps and most of all, it, more than anything, it keeps my motivation up because it's, uh, YouTube can be a bit demotivational. I hope I've earned the privilege of your time. Okay, before I run out of fuel, because uh, the trip to the mountains I made the other day, I left home and it was empty. By the time I came home, it was empty again. After $50 worth of fuel, said to the rip-off prices. So yeah, I better head home and um, grab a cup of coffee.